Hey, there he is. You got a stuffed animal of yourself, bro? Huh? Daily dose of puggy. Right? All right, you hold down the fort. I'll be back. What's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. It's good to see you guys. Uh, today is gonna be a fun one. Today I got something that a lot of you guys have asked for and I've kind of been wanting to figure out for myself. And it might be a little complicated. It might be hard to do, but I'm gonna try my best. I got my gear laid out here. This has nothing to do with my gear. It has nothing. My gear is laid out. We got a GoPro. We got a GPS, uh, like, I don't even know what it's called, but it increases how, uh, how quickly your GPS signal refreshes. So I'm going to use that when I go back to the track for my phone, which has an app that uses GPS. This will provide a more accurate and better signal. It uses some sort of satellite, blah, 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 and it just refreshes faster. So I'm going to use that. I got this guy. I'll go outside so I can tell you guys exactly what we're doing today because it should be good. Oh yeah. In time. Your time is coming. Don't worry. I'm going to get to you, I promise. Oh, it's just sad. All right, P. All right, so what we're going to try to do today is give you guys a zero to 60, maybe zero to 100. Uh, but zero to 60 times in my S54 swapped E36 M3. Oh man, this thing gets dirty. So it has CSL style intake, it has Euro headers, uh, super sprint center section, Stromong rear. Uh, um, that's basically it for performance. Yeah, as far as performance, I didn't really do too much because the S54 is just a great motor and the E36 is a great chassis. It doesn't I didn't want to overpower the chassis. I'm not one of those thousand horsepower guys, although I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that build. I might get a little more aggressive with that build, but this build is, I was just shooting for a fun, awesome track car with this. Um, something that I can take to the track, beat on, have awesome reliability, um, and then drive home. And the S54 is a great motor. We did rod bearings. We did the Vanos. Uh, we did all the common stuff. Water pump has been replaced, all that stuff. So right now, as it sits, it puts down about 310 wheel horsepower and 260-ish wheel torque. And what I'm gonna do is try and use an app plus that GPS like sensitivity thing, GPS enhancer thing to try and get you some solid zero to 60s, which means I have to go all the way down to Mexico. So let me get prepared. Let me get everything uh, positioned where it needs to be and we'll go do some runs. All right, boys. So here's what I got. You right there, and then this guy right here. Good. <laughs> okay. So let's just. There we go. Wait. No, I got to do that with both of them on. <laughs> okay. Now I can sink it easier. Ah. That one was loud. Okay. So I believe. To be able for you guys to see this, I have to tilt my head down a little bit. At least that's what the preview was. I raised the steering wheel up, so that should help a little bit. But I'm gonna try and keep my head down while I do this. So you guys, cause I had a couple of you guys ask for uh, shots of the actual tack itself. So we're gonna try and get that for you. That's what we do here. We try and please the people. And I've never used this zero to 60 app, so I know nothing about it at all. Oh, it's already, it's timing my zero to 60 now. <laughs> no, reset button. It's GPS race timer is what I'm using. And again, I'm driving down to Mexico to be able to do this for you guys because you know, that's just what we do here. We go to great lengths to make sure we can give the people the content that they want. <laughs> so, a little bit about zero to 60 runs. If you guys are unfamiliar with them, uh, first off, don't expect anything crazy out of this. The swap feels great, the swap is fast, but when I don't get the time that you guys think I should have, it's not because of the swap. A huge, huge amount is going to go into driver. And, a huge, huge amount is going to go into launching the car. 
launching a manual car, rear wheel drive car for a zero to 60 is not easy. Um, and I personally have actually never launched this car from a dead stop. You have to find the, the right RPM to launch it at. How you, you can't just drop the clutch and gun it. That's not going to give you the best react or the best traction off the line. Plus, I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll switch to this cam, but my tires are just going to have a ton of, uh, ton of dirt on them. So that's not going to be good. But a huge, huge part of this is going to be how well I drive. And I'm a decent driver. I'm not going to say I'm the best driver out there. I'm a decent driver. I've been driving stick for a long time. But with that being said, when you're doing zero to 60, the start matters a ton. Shifting matters a ton. All that stuff matters. So launch control in like a supercar where you just have to jam on the brakes and jam on the gas and you're good to go that's so different than launching a manual car and trying to get a solid zero to 60 time plus I gotta do it I gotta stop for this thing and make sure I stop in a straight line this is gonna be tricky it's not gonna be easy so here we go here's my first attempt in Mexico traffic isn't too bad in Mexico zero we got zero Seven boys, and that's with a lot of wheel spin. I had a lot, a lot of wheel spin, but that's kind of what you get. That's what happens with these types of tests. I mean, again, I'm not at a track. Uh, I didn't warm up my tires or anything like that, so I'm not going to get great traction. And uh, these are just normal public roads in Mexico. By the way, I can't stress that enough. These Mexican roads are, uh, don't mind the signs, they, that's all Spanish. Ooh, 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 okay, I'm getting stopped at a red light here. <laughs> Perfect! Okay, we'll try not launching it this time, I'll just try and roll onto it and see what happens. Okay. Okay, that one was 5.3, definitely better. So the launch isn't necessarily needed. Again, guys, I've had, one of my last cars was a C63 Black Series, AMG Black Series. If you know the car, you know it. Uh, that had a zero to 60, oh, is that a copper? Oh, looks like I'm not doing zero to 60 runs right here. Yeah. Hi guys. Mexican police have very similar looking police cars. Interesting. Uh, I had a Z C63 Black Series. That had launch control and I tried over and over and the fastest zero to 60 I could get that thing to do was like 4.4, 4.1, somewhere around there. Zero to 60 is really, a, it's a weird thing to do. It's a hard thing to do. So right now, the fastest zero to 60 I have is 5.3. Do I think that is accurate? Mm, not really, no, definitely not. Um, I think if I warmed up the tires, had a proper launch, I think it could definitely be in the fours for sure. Um, for sure it could be in the fours. Right now I'm spinning a ton and when the fastest way I can get off the line is by rolling, that's, you know, that's not good. But if I were to do this on like a drag strip of some sort or actually be prepared, have like a prepared surface, I can guarantee you the outcome would be much, much better. Let's see, this seems to be a good spot for it, for the test. Because no one goes the way I'm going. I should 
try and do a burnout beforehand to warm up the tires a bit. Okay. It must be rush hour in Mexico. Okay. Good, good, good. Gonna wait, gonna wait, gonna wait. Okay. Ah, too much spinning. Too much spinning. 5.4. That one was 5.4, definitely too much spinning. But it's hard because my second gear, second to third shift is right before 60. It's right before 60, so that's gonna take some time off. So far, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. I kinda like it. I mean, it's really hard, these apps, what makes it really hard to do when you're in a situation like this, it's hard not to kind of creep forward and start at, it's hard to start at zero miles an hour um, when you're in, when you're using something like this. So as soon as you start going, it will start your, your zero to 60 time. So you got to make sure that you're in a situation where you can actually pin it and actually get going. Um, because as soon as it starts, your the timer's going. But so far, I like this. It shows the signal strength. It shows a lot of stuff. It's a, it's a good app. It's free. Can't be free. Okay, let's see. We will reset this again. from what was my first one a 5.7 to a 5.0 so much of it has to do with how you can launch the car that it's just it's so hard to do that on a public road in Mexico they're just not made for it oh well all right I got to get into the fours now I don't think launching is the move I think slowly like rolling on is the move all right this will be the last one so far, my best time is five seconds flat. Got to reset that, okay. And I rolled onto the throttle. Again, if I was at a track and I could launch it, it would be much, much, much better. Okay, right here. Here it is, zero, zero. it off the line 4.8 nice good job car good job I think I can get a better time than that I know I can get a better time than that but all things considered I'm really stoked with 4.8 that's what I mean look I've done a lot of 0 to 60s in a lot of cars that are rated you know 4.0 3.8 whatever I've had I've done launch control and a lot of automatics and it's very very hard to get well okay if you're in an automatic say you're in like a like um like a pdk porsche those are generally speaking pretty easy to launch and get the advertised time they're just like they're like robots i mean those things are it's a sick transmission sick launch control awesome but when you're in a manual car on public roads in mexico on tires that haven't been heated up in a rear wheel drive car it's hard to do i think this thing has a 4.5 in it uh, in the right conditions uh, maybe sub 4.5 i have to look up actually let me see what the e46 is all right so from what i'm finding online smg e46 m3s will go like 4.6 4.8 and manual e46s are they say or people are saying right around that same time so I definitely think this will go low fours if launched properly with sticky tires, uh, not on a public road where all you're gonna do is spin. But again, I'm 
Dude, I am, I'm happy with 4.8. That's a good time, in my opinion, out of all the zero to 60 runs I've done and all the cars I've had. I'm pretty stoked with this thing. Good job. Now, the reason I hate zero to 60 stuff kind of makes me want more horsepower. But this car is so perfect the way it is, I don't want to ruin that. So if you're new to the channel, guys, smash that subscribe button. I got more track days coming up with this, a few more mods coming up with this, and then I'm starting on this guy behind me. I gotta tear, gotta tear that motor out because that's just sad. I gotta rip that motor out, and I think I have a really cool idea of what to do for replacement in that thing. So if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Peace.